Okay, hello everybody. Okay, I have got tons of emails and requests in the comment section for an updated read on Maya Millet. So we are going to do an updated read on her. And we're going to see what we can get. So I'm going to ask if you haven't subscribed to please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So you're made aware when I do updated reads like this and when I go live. And please don't forget to smash that like button. I'm not going to keep any cards out right now, you guys, because I'm just doing the initial shuffle. Okay, I'm going to ask that my spirit guides, my guardian angels, please come along with my ancestors to help us bring out what happened with Maya Millette. I ask that Maya Millette's guardian angels, please connect with my ancestors. We ask Maya, please let us know what happened to you. The days leading up to, the day of, and what you are thinking now. So, this is the days and weeks leading up to Maya's disappearance. This is what happened the day of. And this is going to be what's kind of going on now since she's been missing. Okay, so leading up to her going missing, I get oneness. Okay, it talks about balance, patience, and divine masculine. Okay, so there's a lot of male energy coming through here. Okay, so you see the, the, the male down here with the bear? That tells me that there was like a power struggle also. She's up here. You can see in the illuminated figure up here. Um, we've got the crystals in the water, which are kind of like protective, almost like trying to balance things out, but things had gone astray. I see a lot of brush and a lot of like mountains almost like this here. So I do know that she was an avid hiker or she enjoyed hiking. Um, or this could be something that, you know, the hiking that, that she had taken up just before she had passed or went missing. Um, I believe my other reads have said that she has passed. So this is leading up to, so I see some kind of power struggle. Things weren't in balance and somebody was running out of patience. Somebody was trying to pull a power struggle. Okay. So the day of, okay, we got realizing in reverse. Okay. So the realizing, re, re, oh my gosh, I can't speak. The realization of something. Okay. It, it talks about spiritual cl cleansing and letting go in the upright that's a good thing, but it's in the reverse. So I believe she wanted to let go and she wanted a new start. She wanted to rid herself of all the worries and all the negative stuff that was going on in her life. And I think it came to head the day, the day that this happened, because this is the day that she, that it happened. I believe that she really went full force on this. It might've been a topic of discussion that was like, no, you know, I think this male maybe was trying to change her mind. Okay. But she wanted to let go. And in the upright, it's good, but it's in the reverse. So I don't think he was having any part of it. Okay. So this is what's going on now. Since she's gone missing, I got challenges. Okay. And I've got it in the reverse. Okay. So the, the challenge card talks about, you see the woman here, 
and she's got this long sword and it's almost like she's stabbing at these things that this this guy here seems to be holding this is a Norse god and it seems like she's she's got her sword going through like I think he's feeling like she tried to overtake him in some way now that could be financially it could be in any which way but he felt some kind of harm towards him and that could mean any kind of harm like he and he's still feeling that now and it's almost like one piece has been taken out of the picture okay so this is coming her her coming full force okay so that just validates this for me that it's her that wanted the new start she wanted to let go i believe of the marriage she was like done dealing with whatever issues they were dealing with and she wanted to come full force ahead and the lady showing here with the sword like she meant business okay um she felt betrayed in some ways but there was a lot of fear and negativity okay and it's in the reverse so she went full force she was going forward with it okay but there was some fears that she had and those fears came true okay because he betrayed her and he's put up blocks okay so whatever whatever it was that she wanted to let go of and i believe it was the marriage and him he decided okay she was coming full force he's decided you see the male here and he's kind of turning away from her it's like uh-uh and you see there's children here in the background almost looking on okay and he said no he betrayed her and he put blocks up he was going to block this from happening okay so let's go in for a little bit more clarification on the days and weeks leading up there it is okay so the day of oh there it is and what is surrounding things now with the husband what's going on now okay so the days and weeks leading up okay don't forget we got this oneness where there was something was out of balance somebody was losing patience and trying to almost like strong arm her and she was up here saying no 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 looking down like it's like no um I think she she did a lot of this hiking and that to get away from the the troubles and that that she was having at home but there's a divine masculine coming through and that's him and he's coming through with power okay so this could be strength power okay third eye portal talks about clarity and confusion so I, I think he was really confused over what was going on like he didn't understand like how do you think you can do this to me um it's almost he was seeing how his life was going to be if she left okay so the day of and he wasn't too happy about it okay it it uh it wasn't his vision it's not something i think that he was gonna let happen okay so we got the releasing which talks about letting go moving forward you know cleansing the soul cleansing the spirit like she just wanted away i think she wanted the divorce okay she wanted to do this amicably but i don't think he was having it because it's in reverse okay now i've also got the manifestation in reverse okay so this is the day of okay it is in reverse the manifestation talks about pros prosperity fortune and pure intentions it's in the reverse he didn't feel like she was doing this for the reasons that she stated um he felt see the money all falling out this way you're going to get good fortune you're going to have money coming to you this way it's losing money he felt that he was going to lose everything that he wasn't going to have the stature and the prosperity that he had while he was with her okay so i believe that something came to a head that day that she you know he may have approached her and said look at you know we can talk about this we can go to counseling whatever it was that he was trying to do to change her mind okay because he was not going to let this happen he was not going to let her let go she he was not going to let her you know move on 
and the manifestation, what he, he thought, the only thing he was thinking about was the loss of assets, the loss of money. Um, now, it, I've been told that it's her that brought in all the money. So this could be one of his reasons why he was not going to let her go. Okay, that there was no way he was going to lose the statute that he had. Okay, so what's going on now? We got the challenges to begin with. Okay, we've also got the sanctuary. Okay. And with the sanctuary, it's in the upright. And it's almost like you can see a child in the background here. She's looking up. And she's now have she's now got angel wings. It's almost like he took everything from her. But where she is now, she is starting to heal. But you see the child in the background? There's a child in the background that needs some comforting. She, she wants the kids' lives to be somewhat... I think one of the children might have seen something. And she's praying that this, this child gets the comfort that they need. And that they can be restored back to the happy, happy-go-lucky kids that they were before this happened to her. I, she, she's showing me here that even though she has now become an angel, you can tell by the angel wing, she's gone from wanting change and you know wanting to clear her soul of all the negativity that had been going on in her life it didn't go the way she planned see the sword going through her shield somebody harmed her her protective layer okay so she she didn't see this coming she never thought that he would do this and a child seen this and she's more worried right now about the children Okay, so let's go into some more clarification cards. See what more information we can get. Regarding Maya and, you know, maybe give us some reasons why. There's one. Oh, there's two. Why these cards are here. That one, it was my fault, you guys. There it is. Okay. So, the days and weeks leading up to, I get the appreciation. It's almost like somebody wasn't feeling appreciated. And I think it was her. Okay, with the days and weeks leading up, I think there was a lot of discussions over a lot of the problems that were going on, and I feel like he was confused by all this, and she tried to tell him, you don't appreciate me, you don't appreciate everything I do, what I say, and it's almost like she felt taken advantage of by him, and used by him, and stuff like that, and... I believe that like, she felt there was a lot of conflict. So he was running out of patience with this. He was running out of patience and he was staying steadfast. Like, no, I'm not getting a divorce from you. We are staying together. We're going to work this out type thing. She was feeling unappreciated. She didn't think she was being heard. And he was just ignoring all that. Okay. You see this with the victory the day of? She was hoping, okay, with Brit. I believe that there was a major discussion that happened this day that she let him know that she wanted to let go and he wasn't having no part of it, okay? There was no healing from this. There was no, you know, she didn't see any way to turn this around. All he seen was losing money and he was going to be, whatever way he had to, so he didn't lose this and her. Okay, he wasn't going to let her have the victory that she wanted. Okay, she just wanted this over and done with. She wanted 
a peaceful resolution, you know, to be able to move on. And he wasn't having none of this. There was no way he was going to let that happening happen. Okay, so what's going on now? I got the contract in reverse. Okay, see the, the balance? Out of balance. Same as over here. Okay, things were out of balance. There were, things were not, they were not in a good place days and weeks leading up to, nor the day of. This, to me, is he's telling her, we're married, better or worse. No, no, you signed that marriage license. No way. No way are you going to turn your uh, blind eye to that now. There's no way. He is not going to let this happen. Okay? He's... He's doing everything in his power to keep things almost hidden. He's trying to keep things hidden. I don't know what he's doing, but he is trying to keep a lot of things hidden and away from people who are trying to figure out what happened. And he's doing it intentionally because he doesn't want people knowing. Whoa, cards are just flying, you guys. Oh, yeah. guys there's a lot of energy in these cards yeah see what I mean you guys when I said she was feeling unappreciated a woman holding her heart <clears throat> this is clarifying this and these Okay, her heart wasn't in it anymore. She wanted away from him. She wanted the divorce. She wasn't feeling appreciated anymore. And I believe that these were a lot of discussions that they were having. She wanted out. She wanted out. And he was having no part of that. Okay, and the woman holding the heart just shows me like she didn't feel appreciated. She was feeling used and everything by her. And she, she wasn't in love with him anymore. So, and I, I believe that that came out the day of, okay? Because you see this victory and the woman holding a coin, okay? She was saying like, no, like what's mine is mine and what's yours is yours type thing. But he sees himself losing this money. It's money. This to him is all about possessions, materialistic things. Okay, and there was no way he was going to let go of that. No way whatsoever. She was hoping that this would end amicably, but no, nope. it's because she had all the money and he was not going to lose it. See how the coins are falling out? He was not going to have that. No, nope. he wasn't going to lose everything. Okay, so what's going on now? You see this with the contract? See the hostilities? This peeved him off and it's still making him mad. He's still very angry about it. And this is why he's covering things up. He's covering things up and he's keeping things hidden. He's saying, we got married. That's it. That's the way it's staying. I'm not letting you out of this. Okay. Upright. Justice is blind. Nope. He's not having no part of it. And he was really angry. And you see him coming at her with the sword. He came at her and he injured her. He, he did something to her. I'm telling you that right now. He did something to her. And he knows he did it, and he's trying to hide it. Blind justice. He's trying to hide it, and he's saying, no, nope, we're married till death do us part. Well, if you're leaving, guess what? I'm coming at you. Hostile. This is just crazy, you guys. Okay, so we're going to go in for some more clarification here, and we're going to see... What else we can get? 
So, like I said, you guys, this is all over money. He did not want to lose everything that he had with her. Wasn't going to split nothing. I feel almost like a Barry Morphew thing going on here. Okay, so the, the days and weeks leading up to... What more can you tell us to clarify... I'm not taking you guys. Okay. Okay. So leading up to, you see this, the victory and success. You see him blowing his own horn. He feels like, I think this was pre-planned. He was making a plan to win. He was making, this is the days leading up to, days and weeks leading up to, he had a plan. This was premeditated. He knew what he was going to do. If he couldn't convince her to change her mind, see this, choose wisely. If she didn't, if he could not convince her to change her mind, okay, about this, about taking back her heart, about wanting this divorce, about breaking free of him, about letting go, he had a, he, he had a plan. He was tooting his own horn. He had a plan. He devised a plan about what he would do if he couldn't change her mind. Okay. The woman holding the coin and everything. He was telling the day of this, this fight turned bad. Okay. You see this? Her holding all the money that he was about to lose. Okay. There was no way she was going to get victory. And he told her he better, she better choose wisely or else. Okay. And this is what happened. The hostilities. Till death do us part. Nope. You are not getting out of this alive. He came at her full force with anger and with vengeance. Okay. And these were not, this deck we don't read in the reverse. Um, obstacles and challenges. Okay. So he is seeing some ob obstacles and challenges with her disappearance. And he is covering them up. Okay, I've got that here. He's covering it up. He had this plan for a while, you guys. The blowing of your own horn, okay? The victory and success. He's He, he was not going to lose. There's no way that he was going to lose. If, he was gonna, if she was going to walk away, he was going to have everything. And he devised a plan on how to keep that. And it shows me here with her holding all the money and him afraid of losing it all. Okay, so there was obstacles and everything, and he still has obstacles now. And I believe that he is going, he believes that he is going to be triumphant. He, he's given so many red flags. He's even shown the red flags here. But for some reason, they're not coming to light. There's some kind of obstacle that he's creating. Okay, to help him with the challenges that he's facing now with the complete cover-up of this. Like, he is covering this up good, you guys. And he feels he's gonna... Okay, this is the first card, you guys. But you see here, victory and success, triumphant. He feels... He has done what he needs to do to cover this up. And day of. Day of. There's a choose wisely.
two always to the end. Like I said, you guys, we don't read these this deck in reverse. Okay. So we got the victory, success, and the intuition. Um, this tells me that she's seen the wheels in his head spinning. And I think she knew that she had a battle on her hands, but she didn't realize the battle was going to take her life. She thought she was going to have a battle in court. But all he cared about was winning and being successful. This is premeditation, you guys. I think she had an idea that there may be a battle in court, but I don't think she ever thought. I don't, it, over here somewhere too, I said she didn't even see this coming. She didn't. She never thought that this, that he would try and kill her. But she knew that there would be some form of battle. She just didn't realize what kind of battle. Okay. And you see this with the choosing wisely. The woman holding the the, the coin. And him wanting the money. And he was going to be victorious in that too. She was not going to win. So with this choose wisely. You see the shadows. See how they both have their hands on the staff. <clears throat> That's what he wanted. And it's almost like. He talked about this in his own head with himself, how he was going to do it. Almost like in the mirror saying, this is yours. You deserve this. You are king. And she better choose wisely. She better change her mind or else the day of, okay? What happened and what's going on now? See this financial and material changes, deception and envy. <coughs> All goes sorry for the cough you guys I've picked up a cold you see this you see this this is telling us exactly what is going on and this is why this was leading up to he was trying to change her mind trying to do everything that he could to change her mind <coughs> excuse me and he couldn't so this is what happened okay he knew she held all the money he knew he, she, he was gonna be the losing end okay he told her, you better choose wisely. So I think he, he started getting violent right there and then when this, this conversation, when she said, no, man, no, no, it's not what I'm doing. I want out. I just want to move on with my life. I want to have a good life. I don't love you anymore. Whatever she's saying to him. And he's seen everything. He's seen losing everything, not only losing her and that status, he was losing all the money too. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys, let me just take a drink of my coffee here. I think he thought long and hard about what he was going to do and how he was going to do it. I'm seeing almost like in a mirror. She's not taking all this from me. And he told her she better choose wisely or else. And that's things went bad. Okay. And you see here. Okay. Better or worse till death do us part the contract. And he got hostile over it and came at her violently. See the sword? He came at her, okay? He was moving forward. Even though there's going to be red flags, he was moving forward. And the obstacles and challenges, he's he's doing a lot to cover them up. To get past the obstacles that may be there. See this? All he cared about was the financial and material changes that were going to happen to him. See the two rings of them splitting, okay? This shows his deception. This shows he was envious of her. Envious of the money that she had and that he was going to lose. This is in the reverse. And he told her, change wisely. This was premeditated. You guys, this is tooting his own horn. This was premeditated. She's taken back her heart. She wanted out. She did not think. She's seen his wheels turning, but she thought this battle was going to be in court. And it wasn't. It was for her life. He knew exactly what he was going to do. He rehearsed it in his own mind with himself. And he told her to choose wisely. And she chose the same as she wanted victory. She wanted to move on. She wanted to let go. All he cared about was the financial that he was going to lose. 
the financial hardships that he felt were going to be coming his way if when she left and the status look at us happy married couple look at our house look at our cars look at this look at that he was losing all that and i believe that he was trying to talk her out of it and she said no because it tells me up here she wanted her heart back okay she wasn't feeling appreciated anymore she didn't love him anymore she wanted change he wanted victory and success he was not going to let this happen and she knew she was in for a fight but she didn't know it was going to be a fight for her life and she lost that fight okay because i i got victory over here that he he did he came out of full force the contract marriage contract till death do us part you're not breaking that and she wanted to break it it's in the reverse she wanted to break it so he came at her see the hostility with sword which means he caused harm to her he's still trying to cover up these he's still going forward he's still in a forward motion he's not stalled yet he's covering up the obstacles he he devised this he devised this plan okay but there's been some obstacles and challenges i don't think i don't think he thought this totally through he didn't these are obstacles and challenges that he wasn't prepared for but he's still going forward even though there's red flags he's still going forward okay financial and material changes deception and envy he's being deceptive and he was so envious not only of her but of what she had acquired okay and there's no way that you know she wanted the marital changes and there was going to be financial changes that he was not going to have this is why it happened you guys this is what it is all about he came at her he harmed her shows me right here okay so i want to ask now um I want to go into my starseed oracle because this a lot of the times will help give us a direction of where she could be so i'm going to ask maria to please work with your guardian angels with with your angels guardian angels with your ancestors to work with mine archangel michael archangel gabriel archangel raphael can you please give us in these cards some sort of idea of maybe where you are where your physical remains are maybe a direction to look can you give us an idea are you close to home Give us some idea about the pictures on the cards as to where we could find you. Where we can find your physical remains. Do not read these in the reverse either, you guys. So I don't know if I did this in the last reading. I don't remember. But um, I'm seeing a lot of water. Water, water, water. I've got boundaries. I've got water. And I've got something surrounding the water. I've got opposite. This is going to be opposite of where you think he would put her. She talks about new earth. <laughs> and again, by water, you're going to see 
disturbed earth. So I believe she's buried. You're going to see disturbed earth around uh, or where she is. The area is going to have water and there's going to be trees, rock around the area. It's going to be the opposite of where you think she could be. She's saying it's the opposite, the opposite of where you're looking. See, I'm getting boundaries. Boundaries were crossed. It's outside of their their area. She is outside of their area. She's around water and it's got like tree and rock around it also because I'm seeing a lot of big rock. Almost like, could be almost like cliffs off to, in the background. But again, a circular. So this could be a pond. This could be like at the bottom of a waterfall. Um, caves, because I'm seeing almost like a cave here, but it is outside of their area. And she's saying that it's in the opposite direction of where you're looking. You're going to see disturbed earth. The earth is going to be disturbed. It's going to be new ground there. Opposite of where you're looking outside of the area you're looking. So maybe this isn't Boundaries like that, but it's not where you're looking. She says it's opposite where you're looking. Opposite. So if you're looking here, it's over here. If you're looking here, it's down here. Opposite of where you're looking. She's almost telling me too to look in all directions in this area. Because she may not be right there at this water sheet. She's in the area. You'll have to look around. But she's saying precisely it's opposite of where you're looking. So if you're looking down here in the north, she's in the south. If you're looking east, she's in the west. And vice versa. If you're looking in the west, she's in the east. She's saying you're looking in the wrong area. you got to look in the opposite direction. you got to find where there's this water. And I don't think it's big. And there's some trees, but there's also some cliffs in the back or mounds of something. And I'm seeing a hole. So I'm seeing she's in underground near this water. And you're going to, when you're in the area, if you look around, you're going to see some new earth. But she says you're, you're looking in the wrong direction. It's opposite of where you are. And you're going to have to look around maybe this water. But it's around this water. And it's opposite of where you've been looking. I can try and hone in more, maybe with a train read. I don't know. Um, or maybe with my pendulum. When I, I might try and go to maps to see if I can um, go to Google, see if there has been any recent searches for her and where those areas are. From there, I can go to maps. Maps, I can try and see if I, what I'm seeing, it's water. And it's not, it's not like a lake. Like, it, it's weird. Because there's almost like a place where you, there's a hole too. But it's, it's hard for me to explain. But it's almost like there's a hole you can look down into and see this water. Or you can go over here and see this water. It's, it's weird. So I may just do that. I may just go to the maps. It's a lot of work though, you guys. And see if they have searched for her recently where that was. Because she's saying it's opposite of there. You have to look around to be able to find her. But you will see the new earth. It's going to be disturbed. Or it's going to be even new ground with something planted there. But you're going to tell the difference between the earth that is in that area and this earth. She says it's new earth. So what does that mean? I don't know. But what I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go to Google. <laughs> it takes me sometimes a long time to find stuff because I'm in Canada. All our Canadian search stuff comes up first. So it's hard to find information on this. But I'm going to type in her name and searches. 
and see if I can come up with maybe areas where they have been searching. And I will go to Google Earth and see if I can see an area opposite of where they've been searching that looks like this so I can lead you guys in the right direction as to what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing it like this, okay? I'm getting intuitively what my ancestors are showing me. Places and how that works is I see what's on the cards here and I ask my ancestors to show me where she is. So they show me and it is very similar to what's on the cards, but they're showing me somewhere I have been and what that looks like. So that's what I've got to look, look for. Something that they're showing me, I've got to look for in the areas opposite of where they've been searching for her. And what I'm seeing is there is a place we used to go. My um, aunts and uncles used to take us there as kids. And it's like a quarry. But there was also like almost like little caves around there that you could go down in these holes. And there's places, ledges and that, that you could jump off into this quarry. That's what I'm being shown by my ancestors. My ancestors show me things from their past, my past, to give me an idea of what the area, even though the cards are showing me this, the cards are giving me an indication of what it is. I give that to my ancestors. My ancestors tell me and show me something that has happened that I can see visually. I go looking for that, okay? So that's what I'm going to try and do, you guys. Wish me luck. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I will, If I do find anything, I will be posting that. So please hit that notification bell and subscribe so you're made aware when I do that. That will be over the next couple of days. Or later even today if I've got time to do this. So, yeah, that's what I'm being shown. Okay? So hopefully we can get some more information when I go to Google Earth. Um, and I can only do that, you guys, if I can find places where they have been searching for her. Because I have to go opposite of that, okay? Because she's telling me it's opposite. And you have to look around in the area for new dirt. Okay? So if I can find anything about searches, you guys, regarding Maya Millet, um, I will go to Google Earth and I will see if I can find what my ancestors are showing me that matches up with these cards that come out. Okay? So, like I said, please hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please hit that like button on your way out. And thank you for watching. Till next time, please stay safe and please wear your mask and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.